part seven of my smash book. Probably going to be eight parts to this book because I'm almost done. So stay with me and I'll show you the rest. Um, okay. Now this page, how do I explain? Stop it, Bella. She's over here like, go away. Um, so this page, this is a picture of me and Tony Dovolani from Dancing with the Stars. Yes, that is him, unfortunately. I, don't, I hate him now because he didn't really give me the time of day, even though it looks like he did. But yeah, this is a picture from the private lesson I had with him when I went to Superstars of Ballroom Dance Camp in Burbank. So one of the pictures that one of the guy, the, the photographers took when we, he was teaching me how to do the Argentine tango. So that's him holding my hand. He's a Julian poser. <laughs> oh yay, the new girl song. Don't let the sun shine come the sky. Um, this is the Superstars of Ballroom Dance Camp schedule. I actually I pasted the schedule in here of the one they gave to us when we got there. And I circled the one the classes I went to while I was there. So you can kind of see. What you doing? This was my our private lesson was at ten forty five I wrote it here. This is a perfect song for this one. I'm just kidding. Yeah, this is the other classes I went to. And uh, it was a three day thing. The other classes. So excuse me while I sing. <laughs> And make it right. And this this page is a travel page if you can see. Um somebody. This is um pictures from um the Backstreet Boys concert that I went to. I think it was I think it was um the Texas one, I'm not sure. It might have been the black and blue tour, but is um. Who's that girl? Who's that girl? Can you see? There's a glare on that. Um, yeah, this is the Backstreet Boys Texas um concert or the black and blue one. I'm not sure which, but this is pictures that I took from the concert and. I, I put them in here, I put this, these particular pictures in here because um, AJ is playing with a, um, a little, I don't know what it is, like a bird that somebody threw up on stage and I thought it was funny because he was playing with it the whole time. And here's another picture of him with the, um, with the toy. Who's that girl? It's Jess. <laughs> and um, here's another picture with him with the, with the toy. He was really loving that toy. <laughs> and I put up here, cut at the concert, the Texas concert, Brian waved at me during IGBY, which is It's Gotta Be You. And he did. So. Yeah, those are the pictures that I took. Um. This is a pass that they gave out. It's a little sticker that they gave out at the Alamo Dome show. So I just put, I found that when I was cleaning up and I put it in here. And I put the Millennium Tour 2000 because that's the one with me and my mom went to. We went to two shows, there were like four shows, I don't know. I lost count. But here's a picture of them when they came out the first time and they were flying on those um, surfboard things. I don't know. I got this from a magazine. I didn't take these. And other one, other pictures of them from that tour. Let me see that. And Disneyland, I just put that there random. And this is, I put, farthest I've ever been, Dallas, Texas, and San Antonio, Texas, because that's where we drove. Uh, so pages. Yes, that's a McDonald's thing. 
I got that idea from another girl who was smashing. I think her name is Jen or something. Um, uh, this is a picture of my cousins and my aunt. And this is my aunt and those are my cousins. And this right here is a guy that I had a huge crush on in high school. So I put my high school crush. His name was Christian Prinsler. Oops, did I say I spoke? <gasps> Pretend you didn't hear that. So his name his name is Christian. And I don't know why I liked him. I used to think he looked like Justin or something. But he really doesn't. Wait, Oops. Eh. He's not really attractive to me now. He's kinda like he looks like a he's kinda like a lumberjack now. He looks like a lumberjack. Um down here I put, I filled all this out and I put, when I was young, I loved to sing. My favorite person to play with was Rachel, it's my cousin, who, right here is my cousin Rachel. That's Rachel right there. That I used to play with. Um, it says we would spend hours dancing and playing Power Rangers. Now that I'm older, I really love to write and my favorite person to go to concerts with is my mom. We love to go see Keith Urban and shop in L.A. It sure does make me think life isn't bad. Sometimes. <laughs> um, this right here is my choir teacher from high school. He was my favorite choir teacher. His name is Mr. Rodriguez. We called him Mr. Rowe. He was like, he was more like a friend than he was a teacher. And I thought that he was like, he's really cool. These, in this... In this little um, McDonald's thing, I put more letters from from my my best friend. I mean, my pen pal, my InSync pen pal. So I just put more little letters in here that she wrote me. Just, you know, that in that pocket. And I put here on the side to, to show you. I put letters from my InSync pen pal Jen. So and I love McDonald's fries. So I put that there. <laughs> This is another one of my favorite pages. This is my hot docs of the ER page. Just, or my ER page, you can say. Um, yeah. I apologize for the camera work. Hot docs of the ER page. And this is the hottest doc of all. Ray Barnett, Shane West, ER. Put hottest of them all. This is George Clooney, um, Goran Vis, I don't know how to say his name, Goran Visjic or something, Goran, um, Mitchell, and Mitchell Anderson, who I, from Doogie Hauser. I used to have a crush on him when I was playing, when I was, um, best friends with my cousin, um, Julian McMahon, of course, from Nip Tuck. and this is my favorite page. It's um, my favorite ER couple of all time. It's Ray and Neela from ER, Ray Barnett and Neela Riscotra. And I put over here roomies in love because they were roomies once and then they fell in love. And I put Rila love because that's their pairing, Ray and Neela, Rila forever. And I just printed these pictures up of the two of them. I stole them from somebody on Twitter and I printed them up. <laughs> so. I put little hearts and everything, and then I love that picture of them right there. And up here, I thought it was funny that I found this in another magazine. It had a, it was a heart and a picture of John Stamos X'd out, like crossed out for love, because you know she was with him at one time, and I hated that the two of them were together. So I thought it would be awesome to put that there, <laughs> show how much I didn't like him. I like him as an actor, I just don't like him as her, with her. I just don't like him with her. This is my um, good things that happen to me page. And over here, um, this is when my mom and, and her husband and me, we met um, Mark Curry at the improv, the comedian Mark Curry. And he put up here, he put our names, and he put all crazy. It was funny. And then he signed it right here, and he put Mark um, M. Cooper in the house, like Mr. Cooper, hang in, Mr. Cooper. 
I can see that a little better. So this is all of us with him. And this is my VIP bracelet from the dance camp that I got. And I put the experience here, kind of a little bit about it. The Marriott was on February 4th to the 6th in 2011. I was there with my mom. And I met some of the Dancing Stars pros like Cheryl Burke, Corky Ballas, Dimitri Chaplin, Kim Johnson. I met Chelsea Hightower too. And I also had a private lesson with Tony. So, over here, this is me and Scott Foley, who you know from Felicity as Noel. He's so sweet. I love him. He was so sweet when I met him too. He's the nicest person ever. And. This is a pass that when my mom's husband used to work as a security guy at Warner Brothers, this was the pass that I got when I got to take the tour. And that was the day that I had it on. And um, this is when I saw Keith Urban, the last time I saw Keith Urban, and we were right in the front row. We were in the front row because of the fan club seats my mom had. This is a picture I took on my camera and I printed it up and posted it. It's a picture I took on my phone, actually. I posted it here. Like I said, we were front row. Another picture of Keith Urban. Just the good ones. <laughs> this is a piece of confetti from the concert that I took. I would have put more in here that I had, but I didn't know what happened to them, so I just put that. And this is the ticket. And we went, you can see it says 4-1 row two, but we got up and we stood next to the stage, so we were actually in the front row, <laughs> right up, right like three feet away from him. And this is another concert ticket, ew. Um, this isn't, I put another Keith ticket, not as lucky, because we're at the back of the arena, but this is another time I saw him, with that bitch Carrie Underwood, I hate her. Um, this is, this is like my food page right here. Basically. So I love Orange Aid. It's like the only, like one of the only sodas that I drink. I don't know when I want to most. I love vitamin water. It's one of my favorite go go's. Um, California rolls. I love sushi. And Tootsie Roll. I love Tootsie Roll. Jones soda. I love this picture of the dog that was on one of the bottles, so I took it off and put it in here. And I love Gushers. Um, this is like kind of like my, I don't know, random or jeans page, I guess you could call it. Great gift I got was a Blu-ray player for my mom. Another great gift, a front row seat. Like I said, a front row seat to see Keith Urban in concert. Um, and this is from a William Rast jeans thing. It's a William Rast. Um, tag that was on the jeans and I thought it was really cool because of the texture of it. So I put that in there with little feathers and stuff. True Religion jeans. I love True Religion jeans with the Buddha. This is another William Rast thing for like jeans with the pocket with the W on it. I don't know how that got little sticky stuff. It must be from the Gushers thing. Hopefully a rat won't eat it. <laughs> um, I put dark exit here for the because of the next page, which you'll see, and it's you're, you're going to be a little shocked with what the next page is. Um, my crime scene page. This is really really graphic. Um, my crime scene page. Okay, I used fake blood. Um, from Halloween to put all over this page and I put like little fingerprints one of my own fingers I put a finger bloody fingerprint here this is supposed to be the guy who did it this is my Julian character my villain and I put up here angry with a dog tag fingerprints because of the fingerprints and dead I put the word dead right here in dog tag and dead and stab and more little CSI crime scene tape to make it look like a crime scene and a little evidence marker. And I'll continue with the next video. It'll be my last video, obviously, probably. So this is just part of the crime scene. I'll show you more in a minute.